Okay, so um, good afternoon to everybody. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, my name is Ruthie Salomon. I'm from Israel. Um, I'm head of product at the IDF, the Israel Defense Forces. And I'll be telling you a little bit of what we've been doing there for the last couple of years. No, last year. So firstly, I'll tell you about myself. Um, I've been a Moodle expert since 2003. I worked at Nadav in Israel when Moodle just came out. Um, I've led implementations uh, for major organizations, government offices, universities, colleges around, all around Israel. I've, had, I've probably had hands-on experience administrating over 50 Moodle sites. And, but the, my biggest pride and joy is my family. I'm a mother of eight and I'm a grandmother of eight. So that's uh, the most important part of it all. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we'll talk about the idea for a while. The Israel Defense Forces launched Moodle as its training platform in 2022. I think COVID-19 has, has been a big credit in accelerating um, online learning in places and organizations we would never have imagined. Um, that was, it was unbelievable then and we're really happy it happened because now um, the Moodle site we have is going to be serving hundreds of thousands of cadets, officers and soldiers and um, they're learning that courses do not only have to be um, face to face but they can also uh, access their course online and even uh, do flipped learning, flipped classrooms and uh, learn off, uh, off campus. We had to do a lot of customization to meet the idea of specialized training requirements and that's what I'll be talking to you about today. Um, the first interesting customization we did was what we call the grading tree. The way the IDF grades uh, cadets, officers in their courses is really complicated. They have many main subjects which are weighted and then subtopics and then the components. It can literally be um, maybe even four levels of uh, uh, the tree. And in order to calculate a, a final course grade, it's quite complicated. But on the other hand, Moodle does offer a grade management system with various capabilities. It provides many of the functions we need for this complex uh, weighted, weighted grading system. But for some reason, we realized it wasn't going to work. We, just, we knew that the, they had different needs and we weren't entirely sure, the team, my team, weren't entirely sure what we needed. So what we did was we embarked on a design thinking spree. Now, most of you know what design thinking is, but I'll just go through it really quickly for those who don't. Design thinking is, uh, has five stages. They, they iterate. Uh, the first stage is empathize. You empathize, you develop an understanding of the user's motiv motivations, frustrations, their goals. Define, you analyze research findings, you try and understand what exactly uh, the core problem to solve is. More or less what we saw before. You ideate, brainstorm, creative solutions, different ideas of the way things could work to suit the specific needs that um, came up. You prototype and you test and you iterate again and again and what, until you make sure that you have what you need. So that's what we did. Um, the first stage was empathy. And we understood that we had quite a few personas using this grading tree. They needed a grading tree. We had course instructors who were responsible for teaching specific skills and subjects to trainees. They handled the curriculum design, the planning, and the direct instruction. We had training officers who, were, who oversaw training programs, they make sure the trainees meet standards, they manage instructor teams and training facilities and resources. We have education officers, they develop the policies, the, st the strategies for the Defence Forces overall, they align training with the organisational goals and needs, and we have the school commanders who manage and lead the training schools. Now, together these roles work in order to build, deliver training programs that develop skills and capabilities within the Defence Forces. So we decided to get them all together in a room, and that's what we have here. So we had um, uh, the ground forces, the Navy, Air Force, intelligence, all in one room to try and understand 
what exactly it is that they need, and why the grade book on Moodle isn't good enough. So we gave them some work to do. You can see them all filling in over here. And we gave them a, a canvas I personally really like when it comes to product development, and it's called the customer job to be done. And what we have on the, right hand, on the left hand side is the job. You get what exactly are these different personas trying to do? What's the situation? What's the life cycle? And because even working on your computer is not only functional, it's also emotional, it's also social, we try to understand what exactly was happening. What did they do before? What do they do afterwards? What are they feeling when they do it? Are they in a hurry? Are they stressed? Do they have to get something done really quickly? We try to understand the motivations, the barriers, the gains, and what kind of opportunities we could give them to uh, help them do their job better, or even uh, get them something that they didn't imagine they would need. And that's where we, the pennies started dropping. For the first thing that we understood was that in the defense forces, you don't build the course first, and then you build the grade, you design the grading system. In the defense forces, you build the grading system first, and then you build the course components, which was, I told them, no problem, build your course, and then go to the grade, the grade book, and you know, design, you can do it. And they said, no, we don't work that way. We first build our grading system, and using the grading system, that's where we create the, the activities. Um, because there are so many courses that just cycles once uh, again and again and again, and within each course there are 500, 1,000 cadets, and they're uh, in groups. They needed to see visual reports and comparative reports. That's why we said the, the, the need for comparisons of different cycles and group achievements are the educational officers, the school commanders, they need the big, the big picture. On the other hand, the course instructors and the training officers they wanted something really nice, easy to use, wonderful UX, just feel like they're, you know, they're online and they're doing, they're young, they're, they're, I mean, they're 20, 22, 24, they're young people. So, and also these um, course instructors and training officers, they come for really short periods of time. They can't, and the, that's why the interface, it shouldn't be something you have to teach them how to use. And the grade book as it is today is a little bit complicated. So, we ideated. I went and used a, a wireframe and I tried to say, okay, I understand what you need. Say the grade book looks like this. And then when you create, you add the activity from within the grade book. Would that be good? I said yes. So we started working around that. And once it, was, it, it went well, um, I went to, um, by, by chance, um, the guy who is in charge of the system team and the uh, pr producing team, the development team is here. Um, open up, so yes. Um, and that's when we started working really well because we got a really nice design because we said we wanted it to be really good and easy to use. And this is what we can see here. Instead of it looking as the way Moodle always looks, it's drag and drop. On the left hand side, you can see all the activities in the course. That's over here. But if there are no activities in the course, the course is empty. If I want to create activities, I've got another uh, tab I can click and then create the activities from within the gradebook. Once I do that, um, it looks like this. The gradebook, I see the activity, I see the type of activity, I see the type of grading. It's either um, numbered or um, as you can see over here, and I can see the grade and the weight it was given. I see the weight I gave to the category, the weight I give to the components, the weight I give to the subcategory. In this way, they've got the whole um, uh, blueprint and they work on creating the grade from within the grade book. Um, if we want to look at a user report, that's what we see. That's what the course commander sees. He sees the grades of this particular um, soldier, this particular cadet. They also had another need. There are s certain activities that if the cadet does not do them well, <coughs> he can get a full grade on all the others, but he does not complete, um, and he's not allowed to carry on. So we had um, UX for that, UI for that as well. Uh, this over here, we can see the overview report. Here we see all the um, students, all the learners. These, this is the 
topics, the different topics within the um, gray tree. If we click over here, it opens up and we can see within the, the components and the, comparison, the comparative reports. What we can see over here are the different components, the different headings, the different subjects within the grade book. I can see different courses or different cycles or different groups, the way I choose it. And I can see the way, um, in this way, the person in charge can see straight away if a certain group or a certain cycle was not up to par. And you can go and see what's happening over there. So if I click on this, and I, um, I can see the different components and see where the, uh, what exactly happened in this particular group with this particular um, topic within the grade book. The other thing they wanted was comparisons, compar to see how they carry on uh, with time. What happened in 2022, what happened 2023 with each different group and we gave that as well. So that is um, the way a comparative report and a drill down report that we added to the grade book. It's the most important thing is, and I, I so um, uh, accept and understand and agree with, with what the previous speaker said. It has to be really easy, really simple. You don't have to teach them how to use it. It has to be just, you go in and you understand what you do, even if they do need to create um, different, um, which are usually quite complex tasks. We obviously, we went through reiteration, modifying, improvement, etc., etc. So that was the grade book, the grade tree. Another tool we needed to create was something quite interesting. And we, and that was also, I'm not going to go into it, it's really short, but we also found out qu quite inter interestingly that in the Defence Forces, we're not so interested to hear what the cadet or the soldier has to say about the teachers within a questionnaire, we're much more interested what the, what the teachers or the commanders have to say about them. So we need to take the questionnaire and flip it because we were interested, for, we want the questionnaire to work completely opposite to what it's supposed to work. The commander has a drop down box of all, the, uh, um, all his uh, cadets, soldiers, officers, and one by one, he can go and grade them and say how they were doing. They do this about like five or ten times within each course if the course is short and if it's long even longer that means that they are assessed all the time so we did that uh, we understood that they need to individually assess and control trainees skills and learning need, they need observable gradable assessment forms with with the categories the same way the um, grade tree work they also need comparative analysis reports and what we also understood which was quite unusual was the the commanders are young and they work with mobile phones. They need it to be mobile friendly and modern, uh, something that until then we didn't think about. This is the questionnaire flipped, where the commander goes in, he can choose one of the trainees, and then he answers, this, this, it's the questionnaire, it's just the questionnaire with a different U, a UI, until it goes screen, 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 until it ends, and that's, uh, then he's got Siamti, which is, I finished, and that he's finished grading or assessing one of the trainees. This is the comparative report, which is also important. Overview, user report, understand what's going on, and obviously these reports go into the grade tree, which we spoke about earlier. That's all. Um, we understand that design thinking is walking a mile in your user's shoes, and that's what we've been doing uh, all along in uh, the IDF. Thank you.